My name is Kathy Lemke Waste, and I'm a Master Signature and Heritage Circle member of American Women Artists. I'm a painter. I work both in oil and watercolor, and it's a watercolor that drew my eye in this exhibition. Carol Carter has an international following and many collectors who appreciate her technical mastery of the craft. And you can see this in this particular painting with the beautiful washes of deep saturated color. Carol has a goal to put color down once, as beautifully as she can, and then to step away and let watercolor work its magic. And you can really see this in her strategic use of the back run. Now, a back run is something that most of us try to avoid when we're painting in watercolor, but Carol creates these back runs that define form, as you can see in the shoulder and back on this figure rising out of the water. You can also see the back run creating transparent atmospheric texture in the sky, and again contrasting with the white sharp edge ripples of light on the surface of the water. The back run is where you introduce water or wet paint into an already painted but partially dry area of a watercolor. And like I said, it's something we usually try to avoid, but Carol's a master at it. There's more beneath the surface of this painting though, and that's where for me, it becomes a poem. Now think about poetry for a minute. Poetry is imagery, it's emotion, it's sensory, it's picture language. There's sensory imagery in the solitary figure rising up out of the water and looking into the sun. We feel the heat on our skin and we can feel the coolness of the water evaporating off our skin in the light of the sun. The saturated yellows and oranges say summer and sunshine and warmth. Yellow is also the color of caution. The shape of a poem is a thing. I mean, we look at a poem on a page in a book and we know it's a poem. The space around that shape, the white space, the negative space, to me, it represents silence and gives us a quiet place to think about the meaning of the poem. And that's what I see in Carol's painting. The figure is surrounded by negative space. It evokes water, heat, intense light, and for me anyway, that negative space gives me the room to think about that figure. The woman looks away from us, into the sun, or is she looking into the future? The fulcrum of a poem is the place where the tone shifts and the idea or the meaning of the poem becomes clear. And we find that shift in the painting's meaning when we simply look at the title, Australia. And then we remember the horrible fires that ravaged that drought-stricken continent and the impact it had on the many people who were displaced. The solitary figure contemplates the impact of her existence in the world as concentric waves of water ripple out all around her. It's a strong piece and she did a fine job with it.